everyone. So we are currently in London. We're on the tube and I decided it was about time for a bookshop day and I wanted to bring you along. So today I'm going to be taking you to four of my favorite bookshops in London and I'm super excited. Let's go. All right, so we got off at Googe Station. Googe Station. And we're walking up to the first bookshop, truck, um, which is a Waterstones. Waterstones is a chain of bookshops around the United Kingdom. There's loads of them, but they're all very different because they're all in very different buildings. This one has particularly taken my fancy. I think is my favorite Waterstones I've ever been to. And I'm super excited to show it to you. All right, so here we are at the first bookshop. This is the Waterstones at Gower Street. I'm so excited about this shop because it's like a maze. It is so giant and so many stairs, so many little passageways, and it has these amazing little cubbies. So let's go inside. One section I have to show you is this Penguin Classic section. Now, I don't really like used books. They kind of scare me a little bit, but oh my God, even I cannot deny how beautiful these are. Okay, we're now in the fiction section and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite parts of this bookshop, these little cubbies. So these sitting areas are so lovely. They're so full of light and they're super comfy. And you just, this is the perfect kind of place for a bookshop, right? And they're sprinkled throughout the shop. All right, we're now in Tottenham Court Road and we're at Foils. We just stopped for lunch at Itsu. This video is not sponsored, but it was delightful. Um, whenever I'm in London and I say I want to go to a bookshop, what I mean is I want to go to Foils. I realized that the outside actually isn't that spectacular, but oh my God, I can't wait to take you inside. The shop is so bright, it's so spacious and modern, and it's so huge. So let's go in. Okay, I brought you all the way to the top. I'm on the sixth floor to show you the most magnificent book of you you're ever gonna see. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, I'm on the fifth floor, which is really cool because that has a gorgeous cafe and an art gallery. This shop is so cool. We're in the poetry section now and this is one of my favorite little corners in the whole shop. Do you guys ever do this thing where you visit a book a million times at a bunch of different bookshops? I'm having that with this book right now, Do Not Say We Have Nothing. I've wanted to get it a million times and every bookshop I go to, I pick it up and I look at it and I think, yeah, I should get it. And then I don't. It just doesn't feel like the time yet. All right, so that was foils. There is actually a bunch of foils locations, including this one at the South Bank, which I also really recommend. It's so lovely. Now we're gonna continue to walk through Soho and go to our next bookshop. Ooh, I'm excited, I think I'm gonna buy a book. <laughs> All right, we've made it to Gosh Comics. This is a graphic novel store. It has comic books and most excitingly, it has zines. Um, also, I've just noticed that on the outside, there's a sticker decal of the book I wanna buy. So that's a good sign that they'll have it. <laughs> Right behind me is the small press and magazine section, which is zines. And I just love that they have a whole section devoted to independent artists. It's awesome. All right, we're at our final location, 
bunch of double deckers are about to come block it. This is Hatchard's, a beautiful store. We're just off of Piccadilly Circus. This bus is about to cover it. <laughs> um, and it's raining and it's British though. So I thought it'd be fine. Let's go inside. Ah. Okay, this is the book tunnel, which is kind of the reason I fell in love with this shop. It's just a tunnel of books and it feels so cool to be in here just with all the books in a tunnel. Book cave. So Hatchard's claims to be London's oldest bookshop. It was established in 1797 and has been in this building for over 200 years, which is insane. And you feel that history when you're in this bookshop. I think that's one of the reasons I mainly love it is because it feels just like this old crookedy building. The floors are so uneven and there's just, it just feels so cozy and so like books have belonged here forever. So while walking around the bookshop getting my shots, I've realized this might be the comfiest bookshop of all time. There are so many nice sitting areas. So if you're walking around London, you're in Piccadilly Circus and you're really tired, come on in here and take a seat. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of my Bookshop London tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Down below, let me know if you've ever been to one of these shops, and if you haven't, which one you would want to visit most. I bought a book today and some other books in the last few weeks, so if you'd like to know what I got, make sure to check out my book haul coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.